acupuncture is actually is the taping of the power which is already within us. Now, for example, you have a certain power in your stomach, all right? Now, this power is continuously supplied to your other organs in the stomach, all right? It's used for that. Now, through the sympathetic nervous system, the parasympathetic stores it and the sympathetic uses it. Now, supposing there is a disease in the stomach, so now the energy in that vital energy in that particular center is sort of exhausted or is much less so what do they do how to get well that person they take from another center divert it and put it there and that's how you they try to cure that but by that they create an imbalance because you have a limited area, you have a limited, absolutely lim limited energy. Now this limited, supposing you have a limited petrol, and another car you find whose petrol is all finished. Now if you push the petrol into another car, maybe that car will go halfway, and you will also go halfway and finished. You understand my point? So both of them reduce your longevity. So it is the extraction of the energy which is within us, which is limited. Sahaja Yoga is a very different thing. In Sahaja Yoga, your Kundalini rises and connects you with the all-pervading power. So all the time you are getting power, the vital power within you flowing. And there is no sort of dearth of that power. It's all the time flowing, the grace. But here when you tap one energy to another, there's no proper understanding how much to give, how much to balance, and there is no need at all. Once you are a realized soul, supposing somebody has a stomach trouble, you have to just put your hand on the stomach finished. This person you can cure. You can cure cancer, you can cure anything, because you become the source of that energy, and your energy is not limited, you are getting energy from the all-pervading power, you are connected with it. So whatever you are going is just flowing like that and you just become a witness of that power which is flowing. So you don't have to mismanage, mishandle anybody. You just look after that part which requires energy, and you raise the Kundalini and give, give Realization to that sick person also, so that he can give it to another. He gets cured, then he can cure others. It is like that. So. Taping this energy was first started in China when Zen system came into action. Zen, you see? Now, Zen is nothing but Sahaja Yoga, same thing as. But Zen had only 26 Kashyapas in six centuries. Kashyapas means realized soul. Only 26 in six centuries. And now there are none. I have met the uh, chairman of the Zen who came here. See, he is a chairman. I don't know how he is a chairman. His Kundalini is just frozen there. He cannot get realization. <laughs> it's beyond realization. He was sick, so they took me to him and they, he said that, yes, you have healed me, this, that. Give me your healing power. I said, you'll have to take your realization. He said, how can be a Kashyapa? There were only so many, how can I be a Kashyapa? I'm not still the... I said, you will become. Why don't you take it? But see, he was on like this. He wouldn't take realization. They want to live in ignorance. So, main thing is, you first get your realization. You get your power within yourself and manifest it into other. <laughs> but no use putting oil from here to here and there to there. At least let one oil burn. You will have only stomach trouble. Otherwise, the whole body will collapse. Which was to collapse. Say, a stomach trouble is there then it's all right, you can continue with the stomach trouble. But if you remove it from your head there, then within, say, five days everybody is finished. Moreover, <laughs> it has it attacks heart. It attacks heart. That's the main point. And acupuncture is one thing I've seen, those who take acupuncture are difficult to get realization. Even if they get it, it's difficult to maintain it because of the imbalances <laughs> created in the body. We should not create any imbalance ourselves. Already we have created it. 
At the most, if you have to do anything, balance it. Do not create more imbalances. And this is what is happening with these all things which are done in ignorance. They do not tell you what you do really. They never tell you. Like TM, they don't tell you what it is, nothing but possession. They are possessing you. Absolutely, they are possessing you. They mesmerize you. They don't tell you you mesmerize and put a possession on you. If you tell you won't pay money to this fellow, isn't it? So they won't tell you. They say it is transcendental meditation. How do you go to trance? Ask any Indian, he'll tell you. You can only go into trance through mesmerism. Mesmerism comes through only spirits. Spirits, when they get, when you get possessed, then only you get into trance. That's why they are behaving like this, jumping like this. Now people are paying for getting convulsions and uh, epilepsy. This look at this Bernard Levin, such an educated man. He writes that if you go to Rajneesh, you get convulsions. I mean, then there is more reason you should not go. You pay to get convulsions and to get epilepsy. First of all, you cannot pay. First of all, if it is real, because it is too real to be bought. All right. First of all, the first thing is this, and the second thing is that whatever you get should transform you completely into a beautiful person. Your health must improve. Your mind must improve. You should be a fine person. Your temperament must change. Your habits must change. Your priorities must change. You should be a person who is a master of yourself. Instead of going to this man means, or to that guru means, you become a worse person. That's what is happening. How can that be? And this is not to be achieved through rationality, because rationality is limited. It's a state of mind where you jump into. It's an actualization. It happens to you. Something that is actual should happen to you. You cannot just rationalize it sitting down, oh, I am I'm God, I am Brahma. How do you become? Supposing sitting down here, I say, I am Queen Elizabeth, they'll arrest me and put it in the jail. <laughs> You see my point? So all these gurus are doing the same thing. And now see, you are having problems with that. You can see that sitting and all that, you are getting all these problems are because of that. Now will you please take to something real? <laughs> you should take to Sahaja, all right? Now give up that acupuncture for a while. It's a horrible stuff. It's sinful, I tell you. It spoils Kundalini of others. Their chance to realization is diminished. You would not like to do something like that. It's very wrong. It's very wrong. It attacks the base of human beings. Any of the, one of these, any one of them is just the same. You can learn homeopathy. Homeopathy is better, a thousand times better than this, if you want to cure people. Homeopathy is better, it is much more congenial to human nature. You can read Ayurvedic, you can learn any one of these things. But I cannot understand this acupuncture at all. Chinese don't use it in China. Can you imagine? In China they don't. No, they are telling you lies. They never do it. I have been to China mainland. They never do it in China. All telling you lies. They don't believe in Lao Tse. They don't believe in him at all. In mainland China, they don't believe in Lao Tse. Just they don't have it. They have other teas and this and that, and they use certain roots, a more Ayurvedic style, but not acupuncture. They don't. Have. I have been in China myself. I asked them about it. They say Lao Tse. Useless fellow, like that. You see, because after Lao Tse, very few people got realization. And this one has to know what are the centers in the hand, where they are. They are also using all wrong points, all sympathetic points. They are not using the right points, which are the parasympathetic. But that you need not do with realization. Now, why should you do it? It's all right. 
Alright. It's a tremendous task. One side, so many people are ruined. They are seekers. They have to seek. And so many people have come round with all kinds of, you see, ignorant stuff. It's absolutely naive, absolutely naive and dangerous. The other side is the society is going down, political people are mad. See, it's all sided. If you see the whole world, I don't know what's happening. In America, people are so mad. The other day I saw a picture, I don't know, you saw that BBC thing. It was horrible. I mean, I don't know. And then one of the uh, interviewer even asked uh, that, uh, uh, this is, don't you think it's too much, you are going too far with this kind of mass nonsense, and uh, why should you do it? Is it not that because of uh, all these sinful acts, uh, the pressure is mounting up in this area, and uh, there will be a big uh, earthquake? They say, we don't believe in all that. We have a lot of enjoyment and this and that. And they looked horrid. I mean, you could see from their faces that they were telling lies. There was no enjoyment, nothing. You could see sick people, absolutely sick, horrible looking. All their agya catching, vishuddhi catching, uh, muladhara catching. And what are they happy? How can they be happy? They believe in telling lies and believing in myth and living with it, because they think, you see, that is going to help their ego. We must ask for reality, we must face it, see it ourselves, accept it and be one with it. That's just like a warrior, otherwise we'll be cowardly people. And you can see it, reality, clearly you can see. It's very easy. The time has come. It's for you people. You are all seekers of ages. It's for you only this is discovered. All right? How are you now? Are you getting the cool breeze? Lost it? Don't think about it. If you start thinking, you'll lose it. Don't think about it. Cool breeze, just put your hand there. The right. Don't think. If you think about it, you lose it. It is beyond that. By thinking, you cannot reach there. All right? So again, start. Hmm. How are you? Look after your son. Yes, he's very good. He's a good boy, very good boy. Nice you brought him. He's all right now. Yeah. 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 You can't stay with them. Can you stay away? I was staying with them up to uh, going away to France. Oh. And uh, since then I've been away. No, but you must uh, go back. All right. Right. He misses you very much. So beautiful. You gave her the present you brought for her something. Mm. Uh -huh. How is your father? Oh, he's still uh, misbehaving. <laughs> really? Yeah. You should try. Put everyone around. He's part of you. Imagine. How is he? What's your father? What's your father? What's your father? What's your father? बहुत पक्की हाँ बहुत पक्की बहुत पक्की भी बहुत सब उसकी ही दिखता है झूठी नहीं हाँ झूठी तो एक दुनिया सारी गलत बोली आती है वो तो जो भी हो पर उसका हाल जो है ना हाल तो देखो अपने आप फिजिकल फिजिकल ही किसी और हाल है बहुत
वो गायत्री का उस प्रश्न पूछने को कहो कि माँ आप गायत्री हो क्या ऐसा प्रश्न पूछने से गायत्री मन छूट जाएगा पूछना हो आप पूछे माँ आप साक्षात गायत्री हो क्या पूछो सवाल पूछे आप भाई साहब आप पूछो वही पूछा माँ आप साथ गायत्री हो पूछे मैं क्या कर आपको बोला आपको बोला दोनों हाथ ऐसे करते हैं पूछे माँ आप साक्षात गायत्री हो मुझे मालूम है इसलिए मैंने कहा पूछा आप भी पूछे माँ आप साक्षात गायत्री हो फिर पूछो हो गए जोर से शुरू हुआ जोर से आने लगे जैसे सवाल पूछा ऐसे जोर से शुरू हो गया पहचान है कंजुग में अगर पहचानेंगे नहीं कुछ नहीं होना होगा पहचानना पड़ेगा जब तक पहचान नहीं बनेगी तब तक कुछ नहीं बनने वाला पूछे माँ आप साक्षात दुर्गा कुछ हम्म वाह शक्ति एक ही होती ना हर एक जगह में आती आज यहाँ पर बैठी हुई है शक्ति उसको पहचानना पड़ेगा आज तक तो पहचाना नहीं किसी को भी जब राम आए तो कल्ले परशुराम को मानते हैं जब कृष्ण आए तो राम को मानते हैं ऐसे ही चलते रहा अब नहीं अब तो कहना पड़ेगा कि हाँ है पहचानना पड़ेगा अगर आपने पहचाना नहीं तो काम नहीं बनने वाला आ रहा है हाथ में ठंडा आ रहा है यही अटक जाते हैं लोग पहचानने में पहचानना चाहते नहीं पिछली बात लेकर बैठे हैं जो चलेगा उनकी बात क्यों करना आज जब हम बैठे हुए तो वो भी हम ही थे और हम ही हम हैं इज इट ऑन और ऑफ इट्स अ वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन वेन यू मेडिटेट हाउ डू यू मेडिटेट ऑन डिफरेंट चक्राज से यू हैव टू मेडिटेट ऑन मूलाधारा नाउ यू पे अटेंशन टूवर्ड्स मूलाधारा एंड टेक द नेम ऑफ श्री गणेश से द मंत्रा यू नो देर आर फोर पेटल्स सो एवरी दैट मंत्रा शुड बी एवरी टाइम शुड बी फोर टाइम शुड सेट फोर इंटू फोर यू कैन से pay attention there now physically also say we have a nabhi chakra so many of you catch nabhi if you have a liver problem you can rub a little sugar on your nabhi will be a good idea or if you have the left hand side problem of nabhi if you rub a little oil or ghee or something it will be a good idea and then concentrate on that try to put attention on to that especially the chakras which are not all right you just pay attention to it and meditate on them pay attention to it is the point if you pay attention with the mantra saying that's how you can meditate on every chakra and if two people can do it is a better idea is a uh, see in your back on your back if you show the spinal cord you can see what chakras are bulging out other person can tell you these are the portions which are bulging out so you go on saying the mantras of that chakra paying attention and the other person can tell you whether it is all right or not for every chakra there is a mantra which you know apart from mantra you must know what thing should be used which 
element should be used for which chakra for example <coughs> for using say muladhara chakra best way to clear out muladhara chakra is sit on the ground is the best way i have told you how to do the exercise to be able to sit on the ground straight is very good idea of asking the mother earth to clear out your muladhara for say, example if you have to clear out say your nabi for nabi is made out of the water element and that's why you have to ask the water element to help you and for nabi water element is the best if you can use the water element to clear your nabi it will be a very good idea like that every chakra is made from some element as it is swadishthana is made of earth and water so the sea is the best for swadishthana if you could go to the sea and work out on swadishthana will be the best for you any ocean or you can use salt and water for swadishthana will be very good like then we can say that for the heart chakra heart chakra is uh, has to do with the uh, what you call the akash akash ko kya bolte firmament with the firmament this heart chakra is with the or no not firmament akash akash nahi it's made out of air air is called hindi mein kya hai air ka vayu 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 is air air or you call, you call it air as an element you call the word air or firmament firmament is ether in english isn't it so air you can say air air element is for the heart chakra so for that i have told you how to do bas uh, i mean breathing breathing is the best way of hold your breath before the photograph or you can take the breath in deep breathing and releasing it for a longer period cleaning it all these exercises are there then then you see the mantra is of raksha is the protection to ask for the protection is all with the air all right then uh, then we come to this one is here is the uh, इंग्लिश में शब्द क्या होगा तेज वायु आकाश 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 को क्या शब्द है अंग्रेजी में फर्मामेंट होगा वॉट इज अ फर्मामेंट इन इंग्लिश इथर फर्मामेंट इज इथर और आई सो दिस इज द फर्मामेंट सी आई रेड वन ट्रांसलेशन बट आई वॉज नॉट श्योर दिस इज द आकाश इज द स्काय दिस इज द स्काय हियर और आई दिस इज मेड आउट ऑफ द स्काय फर्मामेंट एंड दिस इज मेड आउट ऑफ द लाइट फर्मामेंट इज स्काय इज इट सो दिस इज स्काय दैट्स वाई इट इज विराट आज दिस थिंग एंड दिस इज योअर लाइट सो फॉर आज्ञा चक्र यू हैव टू यूज द लाइट फॉर दिस यू हैव टू यूज द स्काय इफ यूर हैंड्स पुट अप लाइक दिस इफ यू से अल्लाह हो अकबर पुट बोट द हैंड्स टूवर्ड्स द स्काय सी लाइक दैट there's so many ways of using the sky watching the sky looking at the sky and for this the sun and the light is to be used now supposing you are suffering from say left side problem is sort of your possessed or something then you can use the sun you see because the sun will give you the balance but if you have the right side problems like ego and all that you should use the moon put left hand towards the moon but always people do the other way round say 
these dramatic melodramatic people you see all of them will go to the lunar side in the they like moonlight and those who are egoistical will go in the sun and burn themselves out so other way around it should be like that if you use you can work it out all right you yourself can manage it so these are different centers which must be cleansed cle cleansed and meditated on to and uh, or to be <coughs> dissolved into their own i mean if you if you dissolve them into their own uh, elements then you get more strength you see into that particular body it's like that um, um, ah. could you tell us please about sunset um are we not to look at sunset sunset is not very good no. sun sunrise sunset is not good okay. that's the time the sun is taking away all the energies from the earth so it's not such a good time to see but it depends on for example ego oriented people if they see sun would be better right little bit of their ego might be drawn up but people who are who have got um, a left side problem should see the sunrise and the good It's only the other way round. You see, na? Good question. Now, any other question? Can you feel the Kundalini in the chakra? Actually, normally, if your instrument is perfect, <coughs> you don't feel it anywhere. It just sends through, and you just feel the cool breeze from your head, and you can feel the kundalini's, what you call the fountain coming out, as cool breeze. but if your chakras are closed or there's some problem or that defective or sick or anything is there then the kundalini goes there and hits it like especially void if you have a void this thing you can see it clearly at the back of a person if the void is caught up you can see that at the end of the void here it will go on pushing like that and it uh, if the if the so shumna the central path is absolutely clear cut the person is uh, absolutely in the center <coughs> then the kundalini just goes like that straight and they also never have any problem later feet feet comes in if you have a liver problem or a right side problem on the right side is too much of heat on the left side it is too much of cold some people feel very cold and they perspire and this and that if you have the left side problem then you get perspiration especially with the heart or some people who have very low low blood pressure or who have left side problem can feel very cold also the heat comes because of liver mainly those who have too much of sun in them the heat starts coming also heat is a sign of uh, Overactivity in a person. A person is overactive. Cancer gives too much heat. I have seen cancer also gives too much heat. Gives so much heat that one cancer patient can really make the whole house heated up. Don't need any heater. The cancer <laughs> patient. If you know how to raise the kundalini. And the left side is. <laughs> It's a common experience. <laughs> it's very interesting you know surge yoga is very interesting <laughs> even cancer makes you laugh the way the things are but surprisingly you'll be amazed that i have not come across one cancer patient so far who is just right sided always he ends up in the left means he must have had some sort of a problem with a black magic or a some bad guru or some sort of a thing which is which is unauthorized against one something like that cancer is always i have seen it always leukemia treated cancer of uh, what you call peritoneum cancer of kidneys 
cancer of lungs, all of them had this. That means somewhere a guru or somebody or some black magic or spiritualist or something like that he has intervened with the personality. And then you, you get this cancer business. So remarkable thing. Huh? So he always indicates the cancer. So <laughs> what? what? Cancer, does the, the heat indicates what? Heat indicates the uh, cancer problem. Cancer? Yes. No, 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 no. <laughs> heat indicates liver, mainly liver. All right. And cancer is also is when the cells become ego oriented. See, a person who is ego oriented, they think too much, they work very hard. They get liver. You see, because one center has to do the liver, the pancreas, the spleen, the kidneys, and uterus. Imagine. And the same has to make look after the cells for the brain. The same center. Sadhishtana. When it has to work both the things, naturally, if you th start thinking too much, then what happens? That these are neglected. So you develop liver, you develop kidney, you develop diabetes, you develop uterus troubles, you see, all these things come. Apart from that, it goes further. By that time, when you do it, overdo it, then your left side starts freezing. Ego orientation of any society will give you more heart attack. But when ego develops too much in a society, people start seeing it. Then they get frightened of the ego. Then they must drink. Because just to run away from the ego, that they can't bear, you see, themselves that egoistical. So they drink, they take to drugs, these things to run away. Because they can't just bear the ego of people. They find they are really silly idiots, you see, going around. So they don't want to be like them, so they take the other side. When they go to the other side, they go to the left side. Now, when going to the left side, both things being sort of very much fought out, there's a wobbling going on in your brain. With that, you develop all these problems. But if you are only left-sided, you may be absolutely reading only Lord Byron, and you can land up in lunatic asylum. You can. I've seen one like that. Only reading Lord Byron could be possible, because he just makes you miserable, Himself was a very funny man, but he wants everybody to be miserable. Mm -hmm. And he always sings songs of such crime. I mean, such a man, I don't know how he developed this kind of a melodramatic stuff. But I've known people who came to me who have been just crying reading this Lord Byron. He himself enjoyed life very well. <laughs> so one has to take a very, very wise and sane attitude towards life, that you are the eternal life, that you are the eternal being, and you have come on this earth to enjoy all the blessings that God has created for you, and not for weeping and crying and feeling guilty. That's not your job. First thing is that. This is wisdom. And you are not going to make miserable about small, small things of life also. Like the other day I saw a very interesting story of a husband-wife quarreling, ending up into a <laughs> divorce, and poor husband had no house, you see. So he went to his brother's place. The brother's wife very particular about everything. He, she had three pets, so he could not put the box anywhere, because she would say, no, 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 there's another pet here. Again, poor thing would left over. No, 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 no. <laughs> there's another pet, then another day, like that, you see, all the time worried about small, small petty things of life. Also that can create a problem of ego orientation. Live in a very carefree manner. It's not so important. But that doesn't mean laziness, I must tell you. That doesn't mean laziness. Spell it with capital letters, all of By any chance it doesn't mean that. It means hard work. But enjoy it. And not to be involved into things which are of no importance at all. 
यूज करते हैं इट इज जॉय स्प्रेड फॉर वाई बॉदर्ड अबाउट दिस थिंग नॉट मेंट फॉर यू इजेंट इट हाँ आई डेविड सी थैंक गॉड यू टोल्ड मी अबाउट इट बिकॉज आई फाउंड आई रिमेंबर्ड दैट द सेक्रेटरी ऑफ अवर हेल्थ मिनिस्ट्री इन डेली हिमसेल्फ केम टू सी मी ही वॉज देयर फॉर थ्री आवर्स बिकॉज अवर प्रेसिडेंट हैज टोल्ड हिम दैट माता जी हैज क्योर हिम एंड ही इज वेरी एंक्शियस टू वेरीफाइड दैट सेंग पर्टिकुलर साउंड से फॉर द issue these <coughs> like there are 60 a a e e u u a i o o u ru lu lu am aha 60 now all these 16 sounds are for 16 petals but you need not do all that if you just say the innermost thing is virat there is no need to have the sounds or anything just you say virat Open sound. No use, no use. Unnecessary. Because we have gone to the center most part. You see, called as the Brahmanadi. You see, if you have to go, say, from the leaf to the root, then you have to know all the way. But if you are coming from the root inside the root, then what is the need? When they move that way, then only they know all these things. Say in this house or in any building, you have a lift just in the center. You see, I'm moving up for you. You don't have to know; you just move. But if you have to come from outside, every time, every chakra, you will never be able to enter inside the lift. But you will be doing all; you will know everything about that particular chakra from outside. But you will never get in. It's all the sympathetic movement. So there is no need to know. Like this, I was telling you, this is the center, and this is the left, and this is the right. You can come from the left and go back to the left, or you can come from the left and go to the right. But you cannot get inside. And this inside getting is the point. That's the way you do it. All right. So there's no need to. This is all again rambling. Better now. Better she's. What do you think? Is she better?